During the 1930s, Nanjing was the capital city of China and home to the country's government. The Japanese knew that Nanjing was an important target. If they could capture Nanjing, they would have a much easier time expanding throughout the region. In November of 1937, it became apparent to Jie Shichang, China's leader, that the Japanese were on their way. To save the strength of the military, Chen evacuated the Chinese troops from Nanjing and the people of Nanjing were left unprotected. Shortly afterwards, the Chinese government left the city as well. In the early morning of December 13, the Japanese army found that the Chinese army had resisted stumbly. Suddenly, everyone retreated and the Japanese army easily rushed into the city of Nanjing. Just after the start of the invasion, a newspaper article in Japan titled The Contest to Kill 100 People with Swords as Commendation for Boosting the Moral of Soldiers. As the article explains, two officers whose names were Tsuyoshi Nada and Toshiaki Makai had settled on a private competition to find out which of them could kill 100 civilians first. Both officers supposedly surpassed their goal during the heat of battle, making it difficult to determine which officer had actually won the contest. Therefore, they decided to begin another contest with the goal of 150 kills. More than 40 days of bloody massacres were carried out in the whole city of Nanjing. Using mass shooting, burying alive, cutting with swords, burning and other tragic methods, killing more than 300,000 Chinese civilians and captured soldiers. An ex-soldier named Nagatomi admitted that Japanese soldiers tortured people to death by doing things like throwing them into pots of boiling water, burying them while they were still alive so they would suffocate, throwing infants into the air and catching them on bayonets. <laughs> 